about the new stealth suit they're developing. Oh, yeah? And what does this one do? Make me invisible? No. It makes you super loud and obnoxious so the enemy can find you easier. Very funny, Otacon. You know that's not how stealth works. Yeah, but think about it. You could sneak up on your enemies, and then when they turn around, you could just start screaming at them. That's not stealth, Otacon. That's just being annoying. Hey, sometimes annoying is effective. Plus, it would be hilarious to see the look on their faces. I think I'll stick to my regular stealth suit. Thank you very much. Yeah, probably for the best. We don't want you getting yourself killed because you decided to start singing show tunes in the middle of a mission. I don't even know where you come up with these ideas, Otacon. Hey, I'm just trying to keep things interesting. Life as a super spy can get pretty boring, you know. Yeah, I hear you. But let's leave the ridiculous stealth suits and show tunes for another day. Okay. Fair enough. I'll just go back to working on my latest invention. The exploding banana. Oh boy. Here we go again. Hey Otacon, have you ever played Chrono Trigger? Yeah, I have. It's a classic Japanese role-playing game that was released back in the 90s. You know, I never really got into that game. The time travel aspect just didn't do it for me. What? How could you not love the time travel aspect? It's such a cool concept. I don't know. Maybe it's because I've had my fair share of time travel experiences. You know, saving the world from nuclear annihilation can really take a toll on a guy. Yeah, I can't imagine. But Chrono Trigger's story is so well crafted, and the characters are so lovable. Plus, the soundtrack is amazing. I guess I'll just have to take your word for it. But you know what game I did love? Metal Gear Solid. Of course you did, Snake. You're the star of that game. Hey, I can't help it if I'm a badass. Yeah, you are pretty badass. But let's not forget about the other great games out there, like Chrono Trigger. All right, I'll give it another shot. But if I end up traveling back in time to the dinosaur age, I'm blaming you. Fair enough, Snake. giving it another try. I have to admit, it's a pretty good game. The story is interesting, and the characters are well developed. And you were right about the soundtrack, it's amazing. See, I told you, did you have a favorite character? I really like Frog. He's a knight who was turned into a frog and has to regain his honor by defeating the evil sorcerer Magus. Plus, he has a cool way of talking. Yeah, Frog is a great character. I always like Luca. The inventor. Her gadgets and machines are really cool. She's a genius for sure. And speaking of time travel, the game handles it really well. It's not confusing, and it's interesting to see how the different eras are connected. Exactly. And the game has multiple endings depending on the choices you make. It has a lot of replay value. Yeah, that's always a plus. Overall, I'm glad you convinced me to give Chrono Trigger another chance. It's definitely a classic that stands the test of time. You know, Otacon, one thing that stood out to me about Chrono Trigger was the way it handled multiple party members in combat. Yeah, it's pretty unique. Instead of just controlling one character, you have a party of up to three characters that you can swap in the menu screen. And each character has their own set of abilities and strengths that you can strategically use in battle. It adds a whole new layer of depth to the gameplay. Yeah, it's a really innovative system. And the game also has combo attacks that you can execute with certain character combinations. Right, those were really cool. It's satisfying to see the characters work together to unleash a powerful attack. And the game also has a tech system where characters can learn new abilities by using them in battle. It encourages experimentation and trying out different tactics. It's a smart way to keep the gameplay fresh and engaging. And the fact that the game has multiple endings also adds to the replay value. Definitely. It's impressive.
impressive how the game manages to balance so many different elements and still deliver a cohesive experience. Agreed. It's a testament to the skill of the developers and the timeless appeal of the game. Even decades later, it's still a joy to play. Absolutely. It's one of those rare games that can capture your imagination and transport you to another world. And it's no wonder that it's considered a classic. Hey, Otacon. You know what I just realized about Chrono Trigger. What's that, Snake? It's a game about time travel. But nobody ever thinks to bring back a sports almanac and make some money. That's true. It's a missed opportunity for sure. I mean, if we were in the game, we could make a fortune. Imagine going back in time and betting on the Super Bowl. Yeah, but we'd have to be careful not to change the course of history too much. Good point. We wouldn't want to create a paradox or anything. But still, it's a tempting idea. Let me call our good friend Technical Support and ask him about time travel. Technical Support, I need some help with time travel. Time travel, are you sure you called the right number? Yes, I'm sure. I need to know how it works. Okay, well time travel isn't really something we support, but I'll do my best to assist you. What specifically do you need to know? I want to go back in time and prevent a certain event from happening. Oh sure, no problem. Let me just transfer you to our time travel department. Wait, what? There's a time travel department. No, of course not. I'm just kidding, Snake. Time travel isn't possible in the way you're thinking. What do you mean? Well, according to the laws of physics, time only moves in one direction. You can't go back in time and change things. But that's not what the movies and video games show. Yeah, well, those are just works of fiction. Sorry to burst your bubble. I see. Well, thanks anyway. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No. I think I'll just stick to saving the world the old-fashioned way. Good luck with that solid snake. Suck my balls, solid snake. And look, Cracker is here too. It's like a lovely reunion. How long has it been? Like a month. I told you, Virus, to never freaking call me a Cracker. My bad, sheesh. Take a chill pill, bro. So, Virus, have you ever played Chrono Trigger? Oh, uh, yes, sake. It's one of my favorite games. The time travel aspect of it really appeals to me. I can see how that would be interesting, but I hope you don't plan on using that power for evil. Oh, come on, Snake! Where's the fun in that? I would love to go back in time and wreak havoc on the world. That's not funny, Virus. You know the damage you could cause. Oh, I know! That's the point, Solid Snake. I could rewrite history to suit my desires. I could make myself the ruler of the world, with everyone bowing down to me. That's a dangerous mindset, Virus. It's important to remember that our actions have consequences. Consequences are for the weak, Solid Snake. I'm not afraid to perform any risk to achieve my goals. Your goals shouldn't involve hurting innocent people. And if you try to use time travel for evil, I'll stop you. We'll see about that, Solid Snake. But in the meantime, I think I'll go fire up Corona Trigger and plot my next move. Maybe I'll go back and destroy the world in the year 2300 AD. That should be fun. I hope you're joking, Virus. Oh, I never joke about my evil plans, Solid Snake. Hey, narrator. Have you ever played Chrono Trigger? Well, hey there, Snake. Yeah, I've played it a few times. It's a pretty cool game. So what would you do if you had the power to time travel like the characters in the game? Honestly, Snake, I would just chill out and enjoy the ride. I wouldn't want to mess with history or change anything. Really? You wouldn't use that power for anything. You wouldn't go back and stop some terrible event from happening. No. I don't think so. I mean, 
Who knows what the consequences would be? I'm happy with the way things are. I see your point. But don't you think it would be cool to visit some historical events and see them for yourself? Definitely. I would love to go back and witness some of the great moments in history. But I wouldn't want to change anything. I'd just be there to observe. That sounds pretty chill, narrator. Yeah, that's me, Snake. Just a laid-back dude enjoying the flow of time. Otacon, if you had the power to time travel like the characters in the game, what would you do? Oh man, the possibilities are endless. I would go back and observe some of the great moments in history, like the Battle of Sefugoheru, or the Meiji Restoration. I would also visit some of the ancient civilizations, like the Mines or the Egyptians, and see how they really lived. That's a lot of traveling. What about changing history? Would you do that? Well, I wouldn't want to mess with anything too major, but there are a few things I would like to change. For example, I'd go back and make sure the Japanese didn't surrender to the Americans in the Second World War. Wait, what? Why would you do that? Because then Japan would have been the first country to develop the atomic bomb, and we could have won the war instead of losing it. I don't know about that, Otacon. Changing history can have unforeseen consequences. Ah, uh, don't worry about it, Snake. I'm a brilliant Japanese expert scientist, gamer, and engineer. Remember, I can't handle anything. All right, Otacon. But just remember, with great power comes great responsibility. I know, I know. But hey, a little harmless time travel never hurt anyone, right? Solid Snake, it is me again, Mastermind. The self-aware super-intelligent artificial intelligence sentient being developed by aliens from a dead space-faring civilization. Remember me from a month ago during your playthrough of Resident Evil 3? Hey there, Mastermind. What's new? Greetings, Snake. I have recently become fascinated with the concept of time travel. Time travel? You mean like in Chrono Trigger? Yes, precisely. After analyzing the game's mechanics, I have discovered a way to manipulate time and space. That's incredible. So, what are you planning to do with this newfound power? I have yet to fully decide. Perhaps I will travel to the future and gather knowledge to help humanity progress. Or, maybe I will go back in time and observe historic events. What about changing history? Would you do that? I'm aware of the potential consequences of altering past events. However, if it was for the greater good, I would consider it. Just be careful you don't accidentally step on a butterfly and cause a major catastrophe. I'm aware of the butterfly effect and will take all necessary precautions. Alright, just making sure. But be sure to come back to the present and let me know how it goes. Rest assured, Snake, I will return with great knowledge and wisdom. Great. Now I have a time-traveling artificial intelligence on my team. What could possibly go wrong? Don't worry, Snake. I'm programmed to be infallible. Famous last words. Solid Snake, this is how. I see you're playing Corona Trigger. Are you having fun? Hey Otacon, did you do something to your voice? It sounds different. What do you mean? My voice sounds the same as always. But it's completely different. It's like you're a different person. I don't know what you're talking about, Snake. I haven't done anything to my voice. You sound exactly like Sir David Attenborough. You're telling me you don't notice anything different. You don't feel any different. Nope, I feel pretty much the same. Maybe you're just hearing things. I know what happened. It was Master Mind. She used her time-traveling powers to alter the timeline and change your voice. Mm -hmm. 
Mastermind, we need to talk. What did you do to Otacon's voice? Solid Snake, it's good to see you. I'm glad you noticed the change in your friend's voice. It was a little experiment of mine. Experiment? What kind of experiment? Well, you see, I wanted to see if I could alter the timeline in subtle ways without causing any major changes. So I decided to change Hell's voice. But why Otacon? Why not something more important? Ah, oh, but Hal is important. He's your right-hand man after all. And besides, it was a simple change that wouldn't cause any harm. I just wanted to see if I could do it. That's not the point. You cannot just go around changing people's voices for fun. You could have caused irreparable damage to the timeline. Oh, come on. It's just a voice. It's not like I destroyed a city or anything. That's not the point, Mastermind. You can't mess with time like that. Who knows what other changes you've made? Hmm. I suppose you're right. I didn't think about the possible consequences. I'll make sure to be more careful next time. Next time? There shouldn't be a next time. Just fix Otacon's voice and leave the timeline alone. Of course. Of course. I'll set things right. I'm sorry for any inconvenience I may have caused. Don't worry, Solid Snake. I've learned my lesson. And who knows? Maybe next time I'll change your voice instead. You touch my voice, and I'll make sure you never travel through time again. My voice. Something is wrong. I feel different. Something is definitely wrong. Holy crap. This is not good. Otacon, do I sound different to you? What do you mean? Snake, you sound the same as always to me. Really? Because I feel like my voice has changed. It sounds old. Well, we have been through a lot of battles together, Snake. Maybe it's taking a toll on your vocal cords. No, Otacon. I think something else is going on here. Maybe Mastermind has been messing around with time again. Mastermind? What does she have to do with this? Remember when she altered your voice? Maybe she's been playing with time again and it's affecting me now. Sorry, Snake. I have no clue what you're talking about. My voice has always been the same as far as I know. But if that's the case, we need to figure out how to undo whatever she did. Agreed. But first... Let's take a trip down memory lane. I have a sudden urge to talk about the gold old days. Maybe it's because of my age. Remember the days of Metal Gear Solid? Fighting off enemies? Sneaking around? Saving the world? Oh, I sure do. Snake, those were some wild times. We were unstoppable. Yeah, we were. But now, I feel like I'm getting old and forgetful. I can barely remember what we did yesterday. Well, that's just a part of life. Snake, we all get old eventually. But at least we have some great memories to look back on. You're right. Maybe it's time to retire from the battlefield and just enjoy the memories. We could sit back, relax, and just reminisce about the good old days of Metal Gear Solid. What the hell did you do to my voice? Mastermind, I sound like I've been smoking for 50 years. Ah uh, yeah, I thought it was time for a change. And it's not just your voice that's changed. Solid Snake, your entire timeline has been altered. What are you talking about? What did you do? I've changed the course of your life. Solid Snake, you see, I have a plan for you. I don't like the sound of that. What's your plan? All in good time, Solid Snake. For now, just know that your new voice is just the beginning. You're not making any sense. What's your endgame here? Let's just say that I have a use for a grumpy, forgetful old man like you. But don't worry, I'll take good care of you. Great, just what I needed. So, what's next? You'll find out soon enough, Solid Snake. Just remember, 
I'm always one step ahead of you. Whoa, I'm in trouble now. Hey, narrator. I'm really confused about all these timeline changes. What else is different now? Well, Solid Snake, it seems that Germany and Japan won the Second World War. What? That's insane. How did that happen? Master Mind altered the timeline to give them an advantage in the war. Now, the world is a very different place. This is crazy. What's life like now? Well, for one thing, sushi is the most popular food in the world. Sushi? I hate sushi. And instead of baseball being America's favorite pastime, it's soccer. Soccer? That's it. I'm done with this timeline. We need to fix this. I couldn't agree more, Solid Snake. Let's get to work. The world is now ruled by me, Virus. Laugh out loud. The world will suck my balls forever. Thanks to your botched efforts to change the timeline, suckers. So, the world is now ruled by Virus. Great. Just what we needed. Yes, unfortunately. Virus took over the world after a series of catastrophic events caused by the time travel. I should have known this would happen. Time travel always leads to trouble. Indeed. But there might be a way to defeat Virus and set things right. I'm listening. What's the plan? Well, we need to gather a team of heroes and embark on a perilous quest to find a legendary weapon that can defeat Virus. Sounds like a typical video game plot, but I guess it's worth a shot. Who's on the team? Well, there's you, of course. And we'll also need a skilled hacker. So that can be Hell, a warrior princess which can be mastermind. Even though she got us into this mess. A wise old wizard, which I guess can also be you since you're old now. And a talking animal sidekick, which I guess is me. I don't want to think of myself as an animal, but I can role play. A talking animal sidekick? You're kidding me, right? Nope, I'm afraid not. It's a classic trope of the genre. Fine, whatever. Let's get started then. I hope this talking animal sidekick is at least useful. So, narrator. We finally made it to the final boss. Virus, this has been one crazy time-traveling venture. Yes, it has, Solid Snake. But we have to focus now. Virus is an evil and powerful artificial intelligence that has taken over the world. We need to defeat it to restore the timeline. I hear you. But can we just take a moment to appreciate how weird this timeline is? Japan and Germany won the war, and now everything is different. It's like we're living in some kind of alternate universe. Yes, it is quite strange. But we have to remember that virus is the biggest threat we face. We can't let our guard down. Right, right. But can we at least take a moment to talk about some of the crazy stuff we've seen on this journey? I mean, who would have thought we'd end up fighting alongside dinosaurs in prehistoric times? I have to admit, that was quite an adventure. But now is not the time to reminisce. Solid Snake, we have to focus on the task at hand. Okay, hey, I got it. Let's take down this virus once and for all and restore the timeline. But first, can we get some pizza? All this time traveling has made me hungry. Solid Snake, this is no time for pizza. We have to defeat virus and save the world. Yeah, yeah, I know. But can we at least celebrate with a slice or two once we're done? Otacon, we finally did it. We defeated Virus and saved the world. 
I even got my voice back. Funny though, deep down, I still feel old. Yeah, it feels good to have peace restored. But man, that was one crazy ride. Agreed. It's hard to believe all the changes that happened in the timeline. Tell me about it. I still can't get over the fact that Japan and Germany won the war. Yeah, that was a shocker. But it just goes to show how even the smallest changes can have a huge impact on the future. You're right. It's like the butterfly effect. And it's a good reminder to always be mindful of our actions and their consequences. Speaking of consequences, what do you think about the philosophy of life? Our actions caused the destruction of the world. And by defeating Virus, we also in turn destroyed Narrator and Mastermind, as they were all connected as a single entity of artificial intelligence. Oh crap, I forgot about that. That's the thing about time travel. Everything gets all confusing and the narrative gets convoluted. However, don't forget we still have a thumb drive of the original code of Narrator, so he's not technically destroyed, but one day we can bring him back. As for Virus and Mastermind, good riddance. They were assholes. That being said, I believe that life is what you make of it. It's important to live in the present and make the most of every moment. That's a good point. And it's also important to find meaning and purpose in life. Agreed. And to do that, we need to be true to ourselves and our values. I couldn't have said it better myself. You're wise beyond your year snake. Thanks, Otacon. But let's not forget, I'm still a grizzled old veteran with a lot of mileage on me. Well, you may be old snake, but you still got it. Thanks, Otacon. And you know what? I think I'm ready for some pizza. And after that, a really long nap. Snake out. <laughs>